so concerned about giving criminals a second chance. What about our rights? How am I supposed to sleep knowing there's a psycho out there running around? Our entire social fabric is based on our legal system of every single person's right to a fair trial. We're talking about a horrible man here. Someone who has no regard for human life. I say we hunt him down and kill him. Forget the courts. Would you feel that way if this man happened to be your father or your brother? According to the Bible, grace comes from mercy. You can't be too merciful when you deal with a man who murders little girls. In the absence of evidence, a judge's sentence must be based on faith in his fellow man. Hello. Anybody awake besides me? Hello. Now, Sheriff, I know you're listening. Because a good law enforcement agent always leaves the radio on. Never know when you're going to need help reeling in that felon. That's what you'd say. reaction to this one murder over the past few days has been nothing but mass hysteria. No, what I see is average Not that I'd actually recognize a felon if I stuff. saw one. We have to protect ourselves from the criminals who drive past oh, our children bitch. every day. Even if that means abandoning our building. Morning, officer. Morning. It's a little bit early to be clocking over 85, don't you think? Was it? My God. <laughs> Must be in a day he's been driving all night. On the way back from Denver, convention. Got about a million things on my mind. You don't think you can cut me some slack now, do you? Why are you driving? Excuse me? Well, Denver's 1,200 miles north of here. Hell, why not take a plane? Oh, listen here. Look at that. I thought I deserved a scenic route for a change. Well, that's a hell of a view at 90 miles an hour. <laughs> Tell you what, you mind if I see some ID? Well, I was afraid you might ask me that. You see, I left my wallet at the rental company. Now they're going to drop it in the mail with the rental contract. Hey, listen. I'm certain they'd vouch for me. All right. Mr. Bryant. Yes, sir. Tell you what, I'll be back in just a moment. No problem. Chief, this is your boy again. If you're at base, I need a computer check. Shit. Come on, Chief. State police have announced that a suspect in the murder of 13-year-old Holly Lawrence of Austin was spotted near the state line this morning. Police have yet to release the suspect's identity, but unconfirmed sources report that he is believed to be a black man in his late 40s, traveling alone in a gray sedan. A $50,000 reward for any information leading to the apprehension of the suspect was posted by the girl's family yesterday. The police have so far refused to speculate on reports that the investigators oh, chief. may have found a connection between... I could use some guidance here. ...several similar unsolved murders over the past two years. The brutal nature of these murders is performed on a young woman with a heart attack... Deputy found dead. Position open at the county sheriff's office. police and sheriff departments with false witness reports... Emergency calls. Local authorities have made repeated appeals to call, and they're urging the public to remain in their homes as much as possible and to lock their doors and windows after sundown. KTEX will release more information as it is supplied by Austin authorities. Now, back to our regular program. Everything. 
everything settled? Almost. Good news is, I'm only gonna write you a ticket. Bad news is, I'm gonna need you to come back to the station with me so I can check this out. You mind? I don't have much of a choice now, do I? Formalities, you know? Yeah. My life is full of them. Lead the way. No, 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 it's Brian with a B. Yeah, no, I rented yesterday. Yeah, Brian with a B, right. Yeah, I know your computers are down. No, no, you gotta be kidding. I mean, I gotta be on file. I rented yesterday. Yeah, Brian no with a Yep, I'll hold. No, no, a description will not do. Okay, I need a fax photo on the Austin suspect. No, I cannot hold, ma'am. No, I no, cannot I hold. Branch. I'm in Judgment County. It's being set. Yeah, I'll hold. Seems an electrical storm out west has caused power outages. Say we're lucky to have phones, much less computer. Ho, 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 no smoking in county buildings. You're gonna deny a condemned man a cigarette? Go ahead. Thanks. get this job right out of the service? Three months now. Does it show? No, no, no. It's just that, uh, well, I was in long enough to be able to recognize the guys used to taking orders. We're almost brothers. 82nd Airborne, Da Nang. 82nd, son of a bitch. Well, I can't say I saw action like you. Now, Sheriff Max says any man who can spend a year in the Kuwaiti desert and come out with not even a sunburn on his ass is worth deputizing in this county. <laughs> well, you do okay. It's a learning experience. You know, sometimes a guy has to be shot at before he knows how to shoot. Hello. Yeah, this is Deputy Taylor. Yeah. Bro no. That's it. I haven't got That's it. That's it. Hey, you got a fax machine? His name is what? Hello, Austin? Operator. Hello! Anybody there? Hello! Son. <sighs> Chief, this is base. Come in. Chief, this is base. Come in. Uh, you know, my company, it, uh, it sells a home CB system with a power backup. Hey, you know, uh, Taylor, I mean, as long as we're getting chummy here, I may as well let you know I'm a wanted man. Is that so? That's a fact. I mean, I'm wanted by my wife for dinner tonight. <laughs> She's gonna kill me if I don't show up. Well, then she probably won't like hearing this. Mr. Bryan, if I were you, I wouldn't tell me anything else. Because anything you say from now on can and probably will be used against you in a court of law. You gotta be joking. No, I'm serious, Mr. Bryan. 
Please have a seat. Now, the town doesn't have a cell, so I'm gonna have to lock you up here in the sheriff's office for the time being. You shouldn't be locking me up at all. Now, what's the matter with you, Taylor? Do I look like a murderer to you? Look, Brian, I'm real sorry. I'm sure we're gonna have this cleared up and you're gonna be back on the road in no time, but I can't make a move until I talk to Sheriff Mack. I wanna talk to a lawyer. Oh, no, let me guess. Town doesn't have one of those either. Sorry, Sam. I guess we're just all a little bit tense around here today. Listen, I don't have much time to chat right now, but if you came to ask, the state already knows about the power outages. No, forget about the power, Sam. I mean, did you hear the radio this morning? That killer, he's taking a direct path towards judgment. What killer are you talking about, Lauren? Oh, come on, Sam. They said he had a gray sedan, and everybody in town is talking about you bringing in a black man. Now you're tearing his car apart. Is he the Austin suspect or not? Maybe. I thought so. Well, does my uncle know about this? I haven't talked to the sheriff yet. Probably out hunting. We'll just go by the book on this one and everything will be okay. I don't know the book, Laurel. What is that? Sam? It's a ticket. Mac pulled him over earlier this morning out by the Joshua's. Well, you think he's okay? I'm gonna go check it out. I'll fill you in later. You're gonna fill me in now. Laurel, I don't have time to argue. I'm going with you. Jesus, get in. This is where he hunts, though. Chief! Hey, Mac! Chief! Come on. You realize you may have single-handedly caught a wanted killer? Laurel, now don't let your imagination go crazy, all right? Maybe being in the Army toughen you, but I moved to judgment to get away from this kind of thing. I mean, killers driving up to your doorstep? Do you think the service prepared me for this? I mean, Laurel, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, I haven't even booked the guy yet. Gotta know when to let a pro take over. That's what the chief always said. Right. So where the hell are you, pro? Sam. Oh, Jesus. Oh, damn. oh Jesus. No, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Oh, Jesus! Damn it, Taylor, how long do you want to keep me sitting here? All right, now, did you find your sheriff? No smoking in county buildings. Look, I want to make a phone call. If I, we had power, I wouldn't be screwing with this finger. Yeah, well, screw with this. You know, I'm real sorry I can't cut you some slack. Left your wallet where? You and me, we're almost like brothers, remember that? 
Yeah, I bet you said the same thing to the sheriff right before you rolled him in the ditch, didn't you? Listen, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, why didn't you tell me about being pulled over early this morning? All right, so I like to drive fast. Now, what does one misdemeanor have to do with the other one? Shit. You bring me down here. You search my car under false pretenses. You accuse me of murder. Well, at least your redneck boss, he had the common sense to write me up and send me on my way. Hey, if being tough made Mac a redneck, then you better call me one, too. Never give the suspect the benefit of the doubt. That's what the chief always said. I really got you all wrong, Taylor. You're about the most naive white boy I've ever met. Stop telling me what everybody else would say. And do the right thing. Let me go! Before your fuck up gets us both in trouble. God damn it, Brian, I am trying to do my job. Now, if you would just sit there and shut up. Shit. I'll be right back. Let me go. Let me the fuck out of here. Get that thing out of here. What the hell's going on? Yeah, bring him out. Did you get a confession out of that killer yet, Sam? Laurel, this is crazy. We don't even know if he is the awesome suspect. No? Well, how often do we get a murder suspect and a murder in this town on the same day? We don't even know Dan was murdered. Oh, Laurel, you were there with me. Now, damn it, that head wound could have been any number of accidents. Well, I think a conversation with your prisoner is going to answer all of our questions. That's right. Laws are made to handle this type of situation, and that's how it's going to happen right here. Now, the state police are on their way, and this whole thing will be settled in a few hours. Will it? You said yourself, you may not have followed the book when you arrested this guy. Now, some lawyer could come in here, and he could have a field day with this. And we are not going to let Dan's killer walk without knowing the truth. No way. I need you to be objective with me, all no, right? No, no. Fuck objectivity. Dan was family. Yeah, that's right. I saw Mac and a black man arguing on the road this morning. Who said that? I saw them, too, but he was a white man, wasn't he? Look, you're blocking my car. All right, everybody settle down and go home. All right, there's not a damn thing that any of y'all can do here. God damn it, it's about to start pouring. Go home. Sam, there's a reason that Mac kept getting elected sheriff around here. And it wasn't because he was a nice guy. What's that all about, Taylor? Nothing. If you've got anything else to tell me now, it might be a good time. I wish for my trial. Come, bitch. This is your trial. Police won't come to us. We're gonna go to them. Finally, some sanity. That's more than I can say for your friends back there. You know, judgment was crime free until you showed up, Brian. Yeah, sure. And I'm sure coincidence isn't preached here on Sunday mornings. I'm sure my skin color has no influence on your friends in that lynch mob back there. You're not the only black man in this county. You're just the darkest.
I get these cuffs off me. Come on, Taylor, give me a fighting chance. Come on, Brian. Give me the key. Come on. Give me the key. Can't you stand those jeans you got? Give me the fucking tent! Sam! Where are they? Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Sam! Where are you? Sam, stop! Get them! You drive out a couple of miles on Route 1 from Judgment. You'll find her. It doesn't matter who this is. His name is Taylor. Sam Taylor. Stop bleeding. Thank God. Why? I mean, why didn't I leave you? There wasn't much moon last night. A dog would have walked right past us. You would have bled to death without care. They would have thought I'd killed you. My ass is hot enough as it is. Are you? You mean, am I the murderer? Would you believe me if I said no? Would anybody believe me? No matter. I'll take my chances in the next town. Thanks a lot for your help, Taylor. You hold your ground till the medics get here.
I hope you don't use it on me, Sam. Like I said, sometimes you gotta get shot at to know how to shoot. I mean, isn't a man innocent until he's proven guilty? I mean, isn't that it? Not in this county, no. That's what the chief always said. It's your call, Sam. for human life. I say we hunt him down and kill him. Forget the courts. Would you feel that way if this man happened to be your father or your brother? According to the Bible, grace comes from mercy. Thank you. 